Oh, located a nice wide street in Piles, which has got lots of little bars and cafes. We've got this very grand uh, townhouse. There's uh, their moving house at the moment, having some work done. So there is quite a lot of stuff in the hallway, which just to give you uh, an idea. So there's some beautiful floors here and also some stunning floors here. So you've got a nice big front lounge or double bedroom with the, the Juliet doors. This is quite a big room, I can say, unfortunately. They are doing some work in another property and have their stuff here. So I will come back when it's clearer and do a different video. Um, so this is through to a lovely area here at the start and then uh, the dining room, big hall here, that's access to the hallway. There's a cupboard under the stairs. So we're gonna start up the stairs here. Nice banister. And this leads us to the first floor. Some lovely original floor tiles. And up here at the moment, we've got three bedrooms. So you've got double bedroom here with a Juliet balcony. Uh, somebody have a look at the roof but looks okay maybe just superficial cracks this floor is absolutely stunning again little juliet balcony overlooking the street big bedroom and a stud wall through to the third bedroom which could be a dressing room with a jack and jill bathroom okay or you three bedrooms or an office quite a big landing and then out to currently what is the mid terrace. And across here, this is a storeroom or big room uh, above the rest of the house at the rear. You could probably come through this wall and connect the house on this level. So that's looking back towards the house and then looking over at the patio, nice big patio. So that is our first floor. Coming back to, like I said, nice big landing with those three rooms, original floor tiles. So back down the stairs. This is a very grand room, it's hard to tell. Uh, magnificent high ceilings, beams, original floor tiles. Uh, just a shame, you can't really get the feeling of space, but uh, you would be able to <clears throat> next time I do the video. So we're in another lounge. This is coming back through a dining area. And where the mirror is, is the back wall of the kitchen. So you could break through that and have a nice big open plan diner kitchen. So back here, this is our access back to our entrance, a little storage room under the stairs, coming back down and then the kitchen uh, down here. So this is a good size overlooking the patio and that's the wall there that you could open up um, to the dining area and we have a utility area here we're going to go back out through that and then <clears throat> a very blue bathroom good size nice color but uh, maybe just with a white suite and accessorize and then a nice big double bedroom here on the ground floor so that's two bedrooms on the ground floor and currently three on the first floor so we're going to go back down the corridor and out through the utility area so nice big patio here that's looking back towards the dining room back towards the front of the house and and you go through to the rear part of the property. So as you can see, 
quite a nice good sized patio. And we have a little ground floor bathroom. Toilet and a shower. A bit of modernisation. And we have a new room, storeroom or back room. It's, um, could be whatever you want it to be above the rear of the property so you are above the plumbing if you wanted to put in a nice big bedroom here or an ensuite a roof probably could be replaced and that's looking at our mid terrace so you could put a few stairs up here and out onto the mid terrace and connect uh, as we said earlier connect the two parts of the house lovely nice original walls and uh, let's see original roof look like there's too much evidence of water ingress but for longevity's sake probably worth putting a new roof on it uh, as I say it could be a lovely guest bedroom with ensuite and you could put a few windows in there to overlook the garden so I'll get that up now. So here we have the garden. It's a great size. Got a huge lemon tree. It's growing something. big size looking back towards that's the storeroom and then here to the side of us we have an old orange factory I believe um, no longer in use so a little space there for a garden shed um, and obviously a lemon tree for the gin and tonic